If you want to start selling digital products online, have it done fast so that you can test, find your winner and scale it. Have it done free so that you don't have to invest anything in the beginning. You're going to find all these answers in this video. I'm going to show you how you can find ideas for products that people really want to buy. I'm going to show you how you can create a landing page generated with AI done in minutes, how you can capture your payments so that you can actually sell the product to your customers how you can deliver those digital products to your customers so that they can enjoy it. So if you're ready, let's jump right into it. The digital product era is here. Now you can sell digital products on Etsy. You can sell digital products using Shopify and other platforms, I'm sure. People have their houses filled with stuff that they don't use and now they are turning to digital products that can help them with their daily lives, with their routines and so on. Digital products that you can create from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to deal with suppliers. You don't have to deal with shipping. You can just sell the digital item that you've created to the end user and make a living doing that. Normally, I would recommend Shopify for doing this, but the speed of an implementation with Shopify is a bit slower because it takes a bit of time to create the Shopify store and to adjust it in a way that it really makes sense. And the second thing with Shopify is that it costs. So you're going to have a free trial, but then you have to pay monthly and these are the prices. I'm going to show you how you can find ideas to inspire your product. I'm going to show you how to create a landing page. I'm going to show you how you can sell the products, capture the payments and deliver the digital assets. Everything costing zero dollars. You're going to find everything I'm talking about in this video on my community. You're going to find also other assets that will help you with your online venture. So make sure to join. First thing is deciding what product you will be selling. And this depends a lot on who you are and what you know. So I would recommend going to ChatGPT and enter this prompt here. And depending on your profession, you're going to replace this with, for example, a mechanic. If you are a mechanic and you know things about mechanics, you probably know what people who own cars and are passionate about cars need. And you can think of products for them, printable products or even digital assets that don't need to be printed, maybe opened in an Excel sheet and so on. Then you're going to go here and you want to improve something about your customer's life. So you are a mechanic and want to help your customers improve their engine maintenance habits. ChatGPT will come up with five printable digital products that can be created using Canva free. But as I said, you can have products that don't need to be designed as maybe Excel sheets or documents that have certain information that you know and you know customers are looking for constantly. So let's see what ChatGPT came up with. We have a monthly maintenance checklist. I'm sure that a lot of people forget to maintain their car properly. Engine maintenance and logbox car maintenance schedules and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure that many of you have cars and would benefit from having a printed sheet with the car's maintenance schedule in your garage. That will probably save you a lot of money for part replacements and so on. I'm pretty sure that if you are a mechanic or are good with mechanics, you know exactly what information people need to have in front of their eyes every day so that they can really take care of their cars well and have them run longer and improve their lifespan. This can be done with any subject. You can replace mechanic with anything. So depends on what you are doing every day. You may have information and you may be able to improve the life of someone with that information. So you just replace mechanic here and replace what part of their life you want to improve. Then you can take a look at what ChatGPT comes up with. And because you know your craft, you probably can spot one of these, which would have a lot of value for your customer. And then you go to Etsy and search to see if there is competition in that particular niche. So for example, let's say 
you want to do a engine maintenance logbook so i'm going to copy this and go to etsy i don't think that there is a lot of competition with this so if i'm gonna search there are a couple of results you can go through them and see which ones sell like this one for example mileage tracker log if the entries have a lot of reviews that means that a lot of people are downloading that you can get inspired this one here is a good example this one can be created just with excel i think or with google sheets you can get a look get inspired and research the tool to create it with like in this case google sheets if you have a budget you can even download this example and look at how it is created and you can create your own improve this one make it better for for the people you know for for your experience so bring your expertise in this create your own document and then try selling that to help you sort inside etsy you can have the everbe chrome extension installed you just search for everbe chrome extension it's this one right here i already have it installed but if you don't have it you're gonna have the button to get it here on the etsy results page here you can go and see the product analytics you're gonna get a different view of those results you can sort the products by the number of reviews and then open them up and see some details usually when they have a lot of reviews that means the product is good and you can try it out just check as many products as you can try to figure out what is the software they were created with if they are created with canva just open up a free canva account and try to recreate them there if they are created in google docs word whatever just research that software and figure out how that works just so that you can create your own document and be able to list it now let's say you decided to go with this product you went through all the reviews you read them and you've improved the product in a way that now it provides more value as this one here you have it now saved on your desktop and you are ready to create your landing page next you're gonna head to google and you're gonna search for uncody you're gonna open this up once here on uncody you will have to go here to generate your site you're gonna click this button and it's gonna prompt you to create an account I have one already so I'm not gonna do that again after creating an account you're gonna see a dashboard like this where you can create your own landing page so I'm gonna go here and create new landing page then you're gonna see this page here which is gonna ask you for a couple of things first the language you want your site in then the goal that you have in my case is going to be lead generation then it's going to ask you who your target audience is you should give it a couple of moments to think about who your target audience is and try to write a detailed description i've already written something here for mine so i'm going to copy this and just paste it in there this is just a prompt like you would do with chat gpt for example after that you're gonna go in here and think about the unique selling proposition you have with your document let's say you have a version of this document you would just list the benefits your document has and I have a prompt for that as well so I'm gonna copy and paste that in here then you would have to describe your business I'm gonna copy something for that as well once you fill these fields all you have to do is generate site it's gonna generate your site in a couple of minutes so it's not gonna happen instantly two to five minutes and then your landing page will be ready a couple of minutes later it came up with this site here which I think looks great so we have a desktop version we have a mobile version everything runs fast and smooth so it's a simple site but it renders well other than having to change some of the images the logo for example looks good to me the content on the page looks right it respects the descriptions i gave it so the only thing that i have to do now is go and replace some of the images because i i don't think they represent what i meant so for example this girl here 
would probably not work at a rare car mechanics shop this is probably a bar other than changing some images in here and adding some call to action sections i don't think i have to change much in order to change the imagery of this page i will just go section by section so in this about section this one over here if i click on it i see that i can change this image but where can i find royalty free images to use on my site the easy answer is going to pexels.com which offers a lot of royalty free images you can also go to pexabay which is another website where you can find a lot of royalty free images on pixabay from my experience you can find more graphics and on pexels more people if i search for mechanic on pexels you're gonna find a lot of good options to use on that section but let me search mechanics on pixabay as well as i said you can find a lot of graphics as well on pixabay while on excels you will find just people and images of real objects i will go and just use one of these images let's say this one over here i'm just gonna go and download this image and save it on my desktop go back to my site here and click on the image i'm gonna upload and select the image i just download it and the image was replaced i think this one works better let's see what else can we change here you will have to go through this sections and edit the text in case the text the ai generated is not completely right for your product you can adjust anything in here you can go and edit any of this text so you just can edit inside here you can go and edit all of them you can change the images as i showed you earlier you just have to upload images of your own and you have a bunch of settings also for this sections and because this is a funnel you will have to check also the structure of this funnel and make sure that these sections make sense and they drive the customer to a call to action section which should be below you can remove some of the sections if you don't want them so for example let's remove this one here our work you just have to go to layout and go to our work here and just delete this section completely i think that here i could add a call to action section so to do that i'm just gonna go here to the sidebar and I'm going to add a section and I'm going to browse around, but I know I want the CTA uh, section. You can browse around here and find lots of sections to use on this page. But in this case, I'm just going to go and select this one here and it's going to be added at the end. I'm going to drag it on top of this single testimonials. So I'm going to have it somewhere here between our services and the single review. I'm going to go and change the title. To get inspiration for this, I'm going to go to the Etsy page and I'm going to copy this. You may want to write your own. But in this case, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go here and type get your ultimate mileage and vehicle tracker. Then I'm going to go back and get another sentence from here. You would have to personalize this, but just for this example, I'm going to use these sentences and then the buttons. I'm going to go and delete one of them or I'm going to delete the blue one, even if I want a blue button just to show you how you can modify this so in here i'm gonna go and say buy now and uh, i'm gonna say this one is a payment pop-up and i'm gonna select a service they offer multiple services but i recommend you research and see which one is better for you i'm using stripe but you can look into these ones as well and see what fees they are charging and so on. So in my case, I'm going to use Stripe. And after I select Stripe, I'm going to have an option to add a link for a pay button. Once you have a Stripe account, you can create buy buttons. And I'm going to show you in a second how you can do that. And to have a blue button as I initially wanted, I just have to toggle this switch on and the button became blue. So here's my call to action section now. Then we have this review section over here. If you want more reviews, you can go and add a different section. You can go to testimonials and you have this version, which we have now. You have this one and you have multiples like that. Choose the one you think fits better to the page. Then we have why choose us, a contact section and another 
call to action section. I am gonna transform this one to look exactly the same like this one over here. So I'm gonna change the title in that. I'm gonna change this subtitle again and then I am going to edit the buttons. I'm gonna remove this one. Yes. I'm going to make it a payment pop-up and select Stripe. Then I'm gonna create a buy button in Stripe in a bit. Of course you can play around and modify the sections and reorder. It's really simple. You just have to drag the sections around. Every section has its settings. You can add more sections and combine them with what the AI generated for you. You can remove some of the sections that you think you don't need and so on. But this is the system and I think it's very simple and it's easy to use. So when you're done editing, you just go to publish and you enter a domain. So it's gonna be a subdomain of Uncody. Let's say master mechanic. And this is my subdomain for Uncody. But you can also add a custom domain so you can add your domain name if you choose to buy one or you can upgrade and get some options there. For this example, I'm just gonna go with the free one and I'm gonna use this subdomain. Once you hit publish, your site should be live. So if I go to that link, I'm gonna have this site load and I think it looks quite good. And because I changed the domain name, I'm gonna change now the logo as well to reflect that. And I'm gonna show you how simple that is. You just have to select the text here and type your new title. So I'm gonna type here Master Mechanic Publish and publish again and the site should be live with the new logo and it is and now the call to action section here has the buy now button but if i click it nothing happens because i didn't add the buy button link from stripe i'm gonna go to stripe and i'm gonna show you how you can create that buy button link in order to start selling your product and to deliver the product to your customer you will have to set up stripe i'm not gonna go through the setup process in here you will find online a lot of tutorials about how to set up stripe you'll just have to register and once you have your account you're gonna see a dashboard like this once you get your stripe account you will have to connect it with your real bank account so that you can get the payments from your customers so first you will have to come in your stripe dashboard and you will have to go to more and to your product catalog and inside there you will have to create your new product so you're gonna add new product i'm gonna name it master mechanic then you can add a description you can upload an image i'm not going to do that but you can do it with your product then you can select if it's a subscription or a one-time price for the customer and then you can add your price let's say it's five euros you can select different currencies in here i'm going to select five euros and i'm going to add product now inside of my stripe catalog i have one product that i can sell through stripe and now to be able to capture payment from this product i will have to create a pay button to do that you will have to go to more and then go to payment links and in here you will have to create a payment link i have one here but i'm going to create a new one so that you can see so you click on new and you see here the checkout page as well you're going to select the the product that you just created we don't need to give the customer the option to adjust quantity because we just sell one file you don't need to go into the advanced options for this and you should go to the after payment so that you can see the thank you page this part is very important because this is how we're gonna deliver the product to the customer given that you have a certain file that you want the customer to be able to download we're gonna go in here in the thank you page so after they paid they will see this message so we're gonna click on this one and we're gonna add our custom message in here i would say something like thank you for purchasing our document please make sure to click the link below to get your product because we're gonna insert a link in here and then add a notification like this the link won't be available after closing the window because after closing this thank you page they won't be able to get the link anymore so after adding this message we need to insert a link 
in here. And the simplest way to get a link for a downloadable product is to go to your drive. If you have a Google email, you also have a Google Drive where you can upload files and get links for other people to download. So once you are in your Google Drive, you just need to click new and then select your file. Once you've done that, you're gonna get the file in your drive and you're gonna go in here and say anyone with a link can access this document. Copy the link and then done. And because the URL you get from Google can be long and it's not that visually appealing, you can go and find a URL shortener like tiny URL, for example. And in here, you're gonna paste your URL and then you can shorten it. You're gonna get this here. This should be the URL that we're gonna use. Let's open it up in a incognito window and see if we get to the document. Yes, we do. So the short URL works. Let's go to our Stripe checkout and paste in here the URL. You see the URL is there. So we have the message, we have the URL where the customer can get his file. And then we have this warning so that they know if they close that window, they won't be able to get the file anymore. So after you have all your information in there, you're just gonna go and create link. And here you have your buy button link. So we're gonna copy this from here. We're gonna head back to our website and we're gonna add the link that we just created to the buy button. I'm gonna go again and select payment pop-up and then Stripe. And then I'm gonna add here the link that I just copied from Stripe. I'm gonna go out of this section because I have one more at the bottom here. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna click the buy button. I'm gonna go to payment pop-up and then select Stripe and paste the link in there. So publish. So if I go to the CTA section, which is this one, if I click it, I'm gonna see the payment page from Stripe and the customer can add their information in here. And after they pay, they will see that thank you page, which contains the link with the document that they just purchased. If you want your experience to be more branded, you can add some descriptions, you can add an image to your product, you can change the color of your pay button and so on to match the branding that you're gonna achieve with this website here. Try to have a linear experience. So if you use colors on this page, you should customize your a Stripe account as well. Try to have imagery in here as well so that the customer knows that this checkout is safe and it reflects the product they just purchased from this page. This is the page we have so far. Until now we have sections, we have a navigation. Let's see how we can further customize this page. For example, the navigation. This button doesn't do anything at the moment. Let's see how we can fix that. Inside here, we're gonna go to the nav bar which is this one. The settings here are quite self-explanatory. If you go to contact us, you get the option to jump to a page section, which we want. And we're gonna jump to the contact form. We're gonna publish that. Then if you want to change the symbol of your logo, you can change it here. You can upload your own. Then to modify the navigation links, you just have to click on them and then select the option you want. In this case, this is the home button. If I go to buy your vehicle tracker, you have a bunch of options in here. I chose the jump on page sections. So whenever you're gonna click on this, you're gonna jump to the product CTA section. If I go in there and click on it, this is what's happening. When I click on contact us now, it should jump to the contact section and so on. So let's see if we miss anything. So we have the basic stuff. I see here a privacy policy, which does nothing at the moment. I'm gonna replace it with terms and conditions, and I'm gonna show you how you can generate that. We're gonna create a new page, and I'm gonna show you how you can populate that. In order to add a new page, we're gonna click on this drawer, and we're gonna get the option to add a new page. We're gonna click that, we're gonna name the page. Let's say terms and we're gonna save it. Now we have a blank page where we can add a bunch of sections. They show us that we should add sections from the side. From here, I'm gonna go to the core section and just select this HTML embed section. 
which looks like this. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna select the HTML tab. I'm gonna head to this site here, Privacy Policy Online, and let's generate terms and conditions. So I'm gonna go to terms in here. I'm gonna add the name of the website, master mechanic, then the URL, mastermechanic.uncody.com. Next, you're gonna select your country, let's say United States, email, office at mastermechanic.com, and we're gonna generate terms. You're gonna get the terms as text or as HTML. Make sure to read it and see if it works for you. After you copy it, then head to your site with what you've copied and paste it in here, and you're gonna publish. Then you're gonna go back to layout and go to the footer details. And in here, you're gonna have privacy policy. You're gonna double click on it and select everything and say terms and conditions, or you can just leave it terms if you want. Then you're gonna link to your page and select the terms page that you just created and publish. Once you've done that, if you go to your page, scroll down and click the terms page, you're gonna see that you're gonna be directed to that terms and conditions that we've just created. And this is how you can create more pages. After you create the pages you need, you can also connect your social media. Let's go back and look at that. Inside content here, if you scroll down, you're gonna see the social media accounts. You can add platforms, select the platform. You have a bunch here. Then you can add your link and then you're gonna display an icon in the footer. Once you're done with that, you can go in here in theme and you can play around with your fonts. You can play around with the color palette. You can make this page look as you want and make it reflect your personality, make it reflect your product. And once you're done, you are ready to go to market with your product. Now it would be time to generate some traffic and drive some sales. In order to create traffic, you have two options. First is organic and the second one is paid. Depending on your budget, you can create accounts on Pinterest and on Instagram, on TikTok and create organic posts that will attract people. And depending on how you create these posts, you can attract a lot of people to your page. Or if you have a budget and want to have a faster response, you can create ad accounts and drive traffic much faster, but also it's gonna drain your budget. I would suggest if you don't want to spend anything in advance, just to start with organic posts you're gonna create posts targeting your audience, targeting their pain points and offering them some information they are looking for. One good strategy is search. So if you have valuable information that your customer is looking for, try to make searchable content that people can search and find. You can try creating Instagram Reels, you can try to create TikTok videos, other options would be Facebook groups. You can go to Facebook and find relevant groups where you can share your content, but make sure not to spam people. Just drop your link or your comment in a discussion in a place where it's relevant. Then you can join also Reddit or other networks like that, where you have groups of people discussing different things. And whenever you find an opportunity to share your link, you would do that and you can generate traffic by doing that. And that's how you can have traffic coming to your store and people checking out your product. Now, Uncody is not meant to replace Shopify. Uncody is a platform that allows us to create a page much faster than Shopify does. But once you have a winning product, once you have something that is proved to work, you should create a Shopify store because then you have more tools, you have more analytics and you have more control over the process. But in the beginning, you can start like this with zero dollars. You have here the dashboard of Uncody. So you're gonna have here all the pages. I think that with the free plan, you only can have one page published at a time. You get some analytics, you have unique visitors, you have conversions, but nowhere near as many analytics that Shopify can offer you. They seemingly have here leads where people that are interested but didn't take action will be displayed. As I said, this is just the free plan where you can have one published website at a time. You can generate multiple websites and test multiple products 
products you just can only have one published you have a free domain you have free SSL but if you want more flexibility then you should upgrade but this one is good enough to start I hope you got value from this video if you like videos like this you want me to go through tools and show you how you can start drop shipping how you can start selling digital products online how to create shopify stores doing that and so on do subscribe to the channel like this video and if you're interested in selling digital goods using shopify you can watch this video next